The next step in the creation of our business card app is to create a table arrangement so that we can place our buttons in rows and columns and it looks nice and neat. Where you'll find the table arrangement is in the screen arrangement drawer here. So we'll click on that and we'll see we have horizontal, table, and vertical. We'll go ahead and pull a table arrangement in here right under our header image. And we see it's highlighted here and it also shows up in the components area. Now it gives us the option to choose how many columns. Remember the columns are up and down and the rows are left to right. And actually two columns and two rows is perfect for what we want to do here. We're going to be inserting four buttons and it'll look pretty nice when we do two columns and two rows of buttons. When you're doing a table arrangement, you're usually going to want to take the width and fill the parent with that. I'm not saying you're going to want to do this every single time, but odds are that most times when you use a table arrangement, you're going to want it to fill the screen left to right. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now we have our table arrangement created. And I'm just going to go ahead and go into the basic palette and drag a button over here to show you what it looks like when we're dragging something in here because we have different spots that we can put them in. So you can see the blue highlighted area that would drop the button in the top left corner. We can put it in the top right corner. You'll see that nothing is over here. Essentially, our little cells are right over here. And as we put stuff in here, it'll start to fill this up. So, for example, let me pop a button in there, pop a button in here. And as you start writing some text in here, it'll start to fill this out. And by the time we're done with our app, we'll tweak our graphic arrangement so the buttons look symmetrical from all angles.